In the 16th century, quite a few adventurous souls had ridden the waves, braved the rough terrain, and climbed steep hills, all for the quest of El Dorado, a mythical land of gold. Such was the attraction for gold that nothing could stop those indomitable spirits. Cut to circa 2015, the lure of gold continues. And no one else knows this better than Sunco Gold and Diamonds. Adorning the Indians in gold for almost eight decades now. They know how the perfect mix of traditional and modern designs can make a connoisseur go weak at her knees and crave to own the piece. The 80 years of legacy that our company has, with that, you know, it brings about a lot of values in terms of trust transparency and the design craftsmanship that we have. But along with that, with the Indian population, 50% of them being less than the age of 25, we have to make sure that our products become relevant and attractive to the young consumers. For that, we need to bring in more trendy designs, which we are bringing in so that it is affordable and to their taste. We are using technology. We are implementing ERP so that our consumers can get the products that they need on time and we can service them well. We are spending a lot on training. We are ensuring that our salespeople, our staff can give that kind of experience to the consumer of India because today the Indian consumer is traveling the world. They're exposed, they're watching television. They know what is best for them. And we as a brand who wants to service them, we need to make sure that when they come into our store, they should be happy and well serviced. So that satisfaction level, that customer centric behavior, that is something that we are trying to do. So these thoughts, which in spite of being an 80 year old brand, we have to ensure that we continue to be modern and relevant to the changing needs of the consumer. Molten gold is a rare sight. Experienced hands know how the gold can be milled. Kami or gold bars are made from the liquid gold and it is these gold rods with which the goldsmiths start their work. Designs are issued to individual artisans from the headquarters of Senko Gold and Diamonds. And then they start their daunting task. They start giving shape to the drawn designs. The actual process begins. Proby Roy, an experienced goldsmith working for Senko Gold and Diamonds for over several decades, explains the process. <laughs> This is gold ball, but it is hollow. We make it in hand. This is Reji. We even make smaller Reji. These are all chains. All these are handmade. Komal chain, Biche chain. These are plates, these are rods. Gold is molten to make these rods. Then these wires are made. These wires are again cut to make other fine designs. These are gold nets. 
these are woven into sari. These are cut pieces made from dyes. All these are used in a design. Once the washing and polish is done, the jewellery is ready to be sent to the headquarters. The place of its origin. Officials who have an eye for the details look at each piece of jewellery and only after a multi-level quality control process give their approval. Once ready, the jewellery are shipped to the different destinations. Senko Gold and Diamonds has close to 100 outlets all across the country. And obviously, millions of happy and satisfied customers who await these designs. And why not? After all, Senko Gold and Diamonds has the Midas touch.